now the child edit was pretty easy to do but on child changed and on child removed as well the on child move are pretty complicated now i won't uh, make it a bit too, too complicated for the beginning because we are going to take on many other basic uh, features of uh, firebase before proceeding to the on child move and moved or cancelled now first of all what i want to do is i want to proceed with on child changed then i want to pause it for a while while we move on to another features like authentication uh basic of authentication and storage or any other part and then we would uh, like to come back to the on child remove on child move and instead of using the add child event listener i will be teaching you how you can use firebase ui to save a lot of time instead of using these much methods now let's proceed to on child change now to change a child from an existing list of array what you want to do is you need to store the key as well inside another array now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another array list and the type is going to be same but this time instead of uh, values we are going to store just the key of uh, your object which is from here the key is 01 and the value is akshay here the key is 02 and the value is alice just like that we are storing the value inside the m usernames and the key we are going to store inside the m keys all right now what you want to do next is come down here and let's get the key from the data snapshot all right so this way you can retrieve the key and m keys dot add and you can add the keys of your key of your uh, data snapshot value to your m keys array list now this way in the keys array list if the value is 01 then in the usernames the value is going to be akshay so just like that you can now know what will be the key of uh, your object uh, when you are in on child changed now to work with on child change what you need to do is if you type in string value and get the value from data snapshot what you actually get is uh, right now this is object obviously so we need to convert it to string now what you will get is the updated key instead of the older one uh, sorry updated value now we don't know what position of uh, which what position we have exactly changed so to determine that we are going to use the m keys so uh, that we would know at what position the object is changed and what to update in the m username list all right so to do that what we are going to do i'm going to create an int index now this is uh, where we find out what is the current index of uh, your the value that you have changed now to know that we need to first uh, retrieve the key of the current changed uh, object all right so key is going to be data snapshot dot get key now we get the key now what we want to do is inside the m keys uh, array list we want to know where exactly is the this key exists all right so to do that we are going to use index of and we are going to use key for the object all right now we know uh, inside our m keys array list which is exactly changed uh, which is from the data snapshot now we know the index from the m keys so obviously the index on the m usernames is going to be same as well now to do that we are going to say m username sorry username dot set now we need to enter an index and another one is the new value that you want to append and lastly uh array adapter dot notify data set change now this way you can uh, change the data from your uh, array list all right now let the app load and while we get it uh, let me just and there we go we retrieved the list now what you want to do here is uh all right now if if you see that if i add a new child to it uh like batman 
obviously you're gonna see it right here and if I change the David from something like hit enter and there you can see that the child change updated here as well now obviously these function work pretty fine but these uh, also make thing a bit complicated which you don't want to make it uh, so for a better solution we have firebase ui so if you don't get the add child event listener firebase ui is gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna uh, save a lot of time doing stuff instead of uh, working with a lot of methods so have patience and we are going to continue these and firebase ui as well but right now we are going to move to the firebase authentication where you can create a user login system so uh, see you guys in next part